Hey guys, Nick Van Wick here for Epitome Tutorials. This is tutorial number two. We're going to be looking at rotoscoping. Check this out. Wow, he's moving in front of the text. How do you do that? Well, let's go check it out in After Effects. So I've imported my file into After Effects. As you can see, it's right there. I just renamed it Rotoscope. What we're going to be doing now is Command or Control D on your keyboard. Just duplicate that bugger. Rename this one background. BG is fine. We're just going to turn it off by clicking on the eye on the left there. Uh, so we just see that one. Next, we're going to double click on that on that layer, the rotoscope layer. And that opens a new tab at the top here, as you can see. That's your composition tab. This is what you get there. And your layer tab. We're going to select the roto brush, which is right next to the puppet pin tool. It's like a little little man with a brush, roto brush. And just click on that. And as you can see on the screen, we have a little green cursor, circle cursor with a plus sign in the middle. How you increase and decrease the size, just hold down command on your Mac or control on your PC and click and drag up and down. And that increases and decreases the size of that brush. Next, we can select this little bar here in the layer window and just zoom in by pressing plus and minus is uh, to zoom out. So now we can see this whole shebang here, but we don't see the rotor brush. Where is that? You got to start drawing. So let's get a point where we can start. I'm going to insert my text right above the box here. So I don't have to worry about these frames here. I just have to worry where this guy is in front of the text here in the middle. So what we're going to do is bring it back. My text uh, is almost going to be there where he starts there. So we'll start with that frame. And you can just start clicking and dragging and painting over this guy. So let's do that. This is just a rough example for you but you can go ahead and take your time at home because the more time you put in to this the better your results are going to be obviously <laughs> anyway what i'm doing now is i'm holding down alt or option and just painting away the spots that i don't want so i don't want the this little piece here Actually, it doesn't matter. This this can be in here. We we're just worrying about this general area above the above the grind box. So we're worrying about these pieces, the top part of the leg, and the pants. Click and drag, and that il that takes away from what we're cutting. Hold down Option or Alt on Windows, and uh, just painting. Now this creates a master, a master clip here. And that's where Rotor Brush, you're going to be telling Rotor Brush what to look at in the video clip. So if we take this back, it's going to start rendering from that, from this yellow point here. And it's rendering, it's rendering, and it did a pretty good job of keeping those edges in there you know so this is what you're going to be doing you're going to just go through like this and see if roto brush is smart enough it's not smart enough so you got to teach it don't use that and uh, eliminate these pieces carefully so you keep the edges i want that piece of the shirt i don't want that You just have to teach it. It's not a rocket scientist. Then you're going to be working through your frames. 
frame by frame you're gonna go and make sure everything is intact there this purple line sorry i just went back to the composition there this purple line is is perfectly cutting out your your image that you want to cut out so frame per frame this is a kind of a long tedious job you got to add that if it uh, if it doesn't recognize those edges this is actually not the easiest shot to to roto brush out if you've got a plain background it's way easier or a plainer background okay uh, when I come back I'll be done with my cutting out frame per frame just one other thing make sure your composition quality is set at full because a uh, rotor brush needs all that quality to uh, generate this mask but the most important thing to remember is that the green cursor is to include what you want to cut out and uh, when you press option or alt that creates your delete brush so that I don't want in the cutout and to uh, increase or decrease your s the brush size just hold down command click and drag up and down so those are the some of the main points one other thing this little bar here that's uh, rendering out it's it doesn't have the full clip so you have to extend it you got to tell it to where it has to go and I want it to go about to uh, I want the whole thing so just extend it so it covers the whole block here that whole clip when I come back mine will be cut out roughly though but then we'll see what we're gonna do okay so I'm done cutting out not perfect but this is for demonstration purposes after you're finished with all your frames just press freeze so it just freezes all those in there so it can't change and if you want to check what you've been doing in a different kind of way you can just toggle between these three guys here so that is going to show you what you're cutting out then we can go back to the composition here uh, rotoscoping I just added that text layer and just put it between these two because the bottom the top layer is the cutout and the bottom one is the background and then in between those sandwiched in between them is your text layer so that's going to be creating that look that this layer is moving in front of it you can see there it's not perfect my legs uh, uh, some of the text is coming through my leg but that all depends on how much time you put into it and how perfect your your cutout is. This is just a quick demonstration, but you can see I'm kind of in front of it and it's 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 working. Some of it's coming out of my ass there. That looks weird. <laughs> that's uh that's rotoscoping for you in a nutshell. If you've liked it, subscribe to my channel. If you want more, drop me a message leave some comments all that jazz thanks again for joining uh, this is nick van wick for epitome tutorials see you in the next one peace